Some people are growing non-BT uh, corn uh, this year and one of the things that uh, the BT has been really good at, at least the uh, above ground version, is protecting against European corn borer. So those fields should be scouting. We're on the first generation now. Uh, we've had some egg laying and egg hatch in these fields and I want to show you ex a way to evaluate uh, damage and the need for uh, insecticide treatment on this uh, corn. You go through the field and basically these, this first generation the larvae are going to be up in the world. You're going to look for uh, plants with shot holing. Do 20 plants count the number of plants with shot holing. And the last two plants, or two plants out of those 20 that are infested, that have the shot holes, pull the whirl and start slowly unwrapping this whirl and looking for larvae. As you unroll, you can see where these larvae have been feeding down in the whirl. The initial uh, feeding is small and round if you get uh, several bites together. <coughs> These uh, injury will start looking a little oblong and they'll start doing a little skeletonizing. Well here's a larva right here. The first instar larvae are very small. The thing to kind of key in on is they've got a dark, uh, almost a black head and that's probably the first thing you're going to notice as you're peeling these, these worlds apart. It's probably best not to do this right after a rainstorm because it'll be wet and, and that's actually a big cause of mortality of these uh, small larvae. If the world fills up with water, you can drown them. Okay. And now we're in an area where there's no more feeding. We'll just kind of tear this apart just to make sure. We had one live bo uh, larva on that plant. To figure what your infestation is, take the percent of the plants that have shot holing and then determine your average number of larvae per infested plant, multiply the two together, and those are the numbers you're going to put into uh, your economic threshold equation.